Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun recycle project and the, using tea lights making these little metal roses. What I'm doing is cutting the edges off the tea lights and flattening the bottom and the sides. I'm trying to get all the edges and pieces that are poking out. I have a little flower wire here. It's a little thicker but it is flower, like to make flowers and that kind of thing. And what I'm doing is wrapping my <laughs> Um, tea light edge around this. I'm kind of playing with it and I have to glue it to keep it together. Um, you can hot glue this but I prefer not to have the strings and dealing with that. So um, I take a little longer and sometimes it comes apart on me but I'm using PVA glue. So there's my center and now I'm just kind of shaping my outer edge. So what I do is I cut the bottom in half and then I make kind of like an outer edge of the flower petals and um, I'm using a toothpick to grab my glue put it on there and get my center in and sometimes it's a little different here and there making it um, it's not, not each one's the same you never get the exact same one sometimes it can be a little troublesome my first wire here I did bend my wire over but I was like not thinking that that didn't work really well so what I usually do is leave my wire straight but I hadn't made these for a long time and then I just glue them on and when I'm not making them for a video I just leave them uh, sit for a while to uh, dry but of course I went through it really quickly so it was kind of wanting to come apart on me but hey that's the fun of making videos so this is the first one I did a loop the loops just never really work for me I don't know why I tried it again but I'm just showing you that that's a way you can do it and then you just crimp the bottom ends and let it go sit so that's the first one I ended up uh, taking it apart later and just putting a straight end on it because it just didn't work for me actually out of all of them that was the one that was taking the longest to dry I'm not sure if it was because of the loop or what but I don't know so I did a few here for you guys just to show you it's a hard thing to record because it's all hands my hands are just in the way so it's just rolling up the edge of the tea light again and I get started on a little metal stem um, crimp the edges a bit dip my end in and sometimes it'll fall off whatever it's a little fiddly but not like terribly and then I just wrap my half the bottom tea light on one side and wrap the other half on the other side and kind of play up my petals to make them look like roses and that is really it and I keep adding glue to the bottom and crimping it each layer so um, it sticks better and I just add PVA glue you can add whatever you want hot glue works really fast but I don't like dealing with the strings so it's either fiddly sometimes it comes apart or deal with strings whatever you can deal with best So here I'm just getting a few of these ready so then I can just start making them and now I'm just going to start making a bunch of them. I decided to make about, I think I made seven of them today and just playing around making them nice. So I did it a few times here so you guys can maybe catch it. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing but once again I roll up my center all the way. I crimp it to the uh, little wire and then I take one half, I wrap it around that roll, and then on the other side, I do the same to the other side. But I add a little bit of glue to the bottom, and I wrap it around the side where the where I'm closing, where the wrap is. And 
that's how I do my little metal roses here, my little tea light roses. So hope that helps and that you guys get to try this out. Um, if you feel comfortable, if you don't feel comfortable playing with it because it's sharp, I didn't find it sharp, but um, I did uh, use the back of my scissors to smooth any ends, snip anything sticking out, but you can use a little bit of a file um, if you find that there's ends, too many ends sticking out. But for me, it was fine. And now I'm just sticking them onto this old sponge I was using for my cleaning my water um, color brush, and uh, started gluing the stems. So I just want to add a little bit more strength to them and glue my stems up with just some PVA glue. Let that dry. I use my heat tool to help it along, but want to make sure nothing falls apart afterwards. So it's nice and sturdy. Now I'm pulling out my paints. I pull out a primary yellow and I do my first coat in the yellow. I don't want to do the white because it's just too white and it lightens up my rose color, my red. And um, so I use my base coat as my primary yellow. And then I just use the lipstick and that's a nice shiny um, kind of coat. And I don't get it everywhere and that's the multi-surface and so whatever I miss, a little yellow comes through and it looks really cute, just like a real flower where there's little tints of different color, lighter or darker in it. So that's where I was going. So I'm getting my first coat on all of them and then I'm going to put my lipstick red on them. I'm trying to be very loose with the red and let a little bit of yellow peek through. I um, don't want too much, but just a little bit looks really nice. 
And the nice thing about having the yellow base color is you can do that and it doesn't have to be perfect, whereas the white doesn't look um, right when it's peeking through. Now I'm just adding green to my stems going around and just adding a little bit extra to the bottom of my roses um, to make it look like the very bottom piece there, the little bulb or whatever is at the bottom of the roses. Can't think of the name at the moment. And just to kind of pull it together. And then I add my gold. I love gold on roses so I just try to get some paint off and get it in there just on the petals and stuff it just highlights it looks it makes it look really cute and I love the way it looks I spray a coat of uh, the gloss sealer on top and I'm just putting it back on my sponge to dry here. Just trying to seal it a little bit and get it um, to stay together and I just like the look. Then I decide to add a little bit um, of this kind of like it's almost like my cuts very very thin sparkles or glitter it's so fine and I love the look of it I ended up spraying a little bit more sealer in there and just trying to move the flowers around a bit to get right into the petals and I really love this look so then I added some everywhere in my flowers and added more sealer on top and I just used the sealer as an adhesive in this instance I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a try let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will talk to you all soon thanks everyone for watching